Loretta from Home and Horizon and in this video I'm going to be testing a new dishwasher because ours is broken so we've ordered a new one it actually arrives tomorrow so just doing the intro now we ordered a DIN29X31 integrated dishwasher from Beko we've done loads of research it looks like it should be a good one there's some nice reviews it has some features that our old one didn't have so I'm really looking forward to getting it and to testing it out Right, so the dishwasher has been put onto a pre-wash after all the plumbing has gone in. And you can just about see there's eight minutes left of it. So you put on the pre-wash before you put any programs in to clear this salt. Right, you might have noticed the little red dot has disappeared on the floor, which means the cycle has finished. I'm just going to check. There's no lights on, so I'm just going to open it. Yeah, all the red lights have gone. So there you go. That was the pre-wash. And the door is still actually pinging back because we haven't got the fascia on yet, but hopefully tomorrow. Right, so I just wanted to show you inside the machine. Um, it's got all these little programs here that you can see. Have you seen that? Uh, Inner Clean, Eco, Auto, Aquaflex, Baby Protect, Intensive, Quick and Clean, Glass Care, Mini, Pre-Wash, Half Load Fast, Steam Gloss and Ever Clean Filter. What's great about it is, well a few little things actually, that's obviously where your rinse aid goes and the detergent in there. What I like about the bottom basket is it's got these little clips either side. So all you do is literally ping, ping them up, ping this up, and it you can push it down. So you've got a really big space for um, putting down pans, and the same on this side, you can do the same. And literally just pull it back. And then in the top drawer, I'm pretty sure you can fold these down as well. Yep, yeah, they go down. And these also flip up to make it a lot more room. In fact, I think you can raise these as well. Yes, that's right. So you can make them even higher if you have taller glasses. And one of my favourite bits is the cutlery tray. So it pulls quite a long way out, as you can see. And you can also lift this out so when you're finished doing it just transfer it to where you need it to go um, to put your uh, cutlery away i'm trying to do this with one hand so oh there you go managed it with one hand and it also comes with a oh, cutlery basket so you can obviously that goes down there somewhere to read the instructions Right, so the dishwasher is pretty much loaded. I've kept a couple of more soiled ones. Um, I'm going to put those in as well. That was um, coffee in there and just left overnight. Just to see these two cups, how, how it turns out. and they're not closing. Quite a smooth drawer action. Uh, let's get the tablet. Put it in there. To hear the click. It goes up. And right, let's switch it on. So at the moment there's program one, which is inner clean, and that takes three hours, 58 minutes. I'm going to keep pressing P until it gets to program six. 
quick and clean at 70 degrees. And then all you do is literally push it shut. It turns on and you can see the little red light down at the bottom, which will stay on until the cycle's finished. And then once it's finished, that red light goes off. You know that you can unload. Because we haven't got the door on just yet, you can actually see program six, 57 minutes it takes. Just to give you an idea of how quiet it is. Right, so the cycle is now finished. Let's open up and see. over what these two cups are looking like because brilliant that's really really good so it was that one I can't remember if it was that one or this one but I'll do them all yep spotless great well done Becco well all the dishes appear to be really clean. I'm just going to pull out this cutlery tray and I probably loaded it wrong, but again, yeah, really, really clean. Lovely. Right, well, we've now had the dishwasher for a couple of weeks, so we've allowed it to, you know, settle down and got used to it. So I'm going to run through the plus points and the negative points, or my, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so first off, number one, I love the fact that this dishwasher is really quiet. Our old one was really loud and we had to raise our voices to have a conversation above the noise. This one you don't. It's Sometimes it doesn't even sound like it's actually on, which is really weird. But, you know, always wash the dishes. I've tried most of the cycles um, and they work fabulously. So it's going really well. Number two, um, it has a red dot. So when the cycle is on, there's a red dot that shines on your floor. Um, this is great because, you know, if you have to pop out and when you come back, sometimes we used to think the cycle might have finished. Our old one used to beep and um, we'd open the, the, uh, the door and it would be drying or something like that. Anyway, this one doesn't. The red dot disappears on the floor and then you know the cycle's finished, which is, which is a really good idea. And number three, I like the cutlery tray at the top and the basket. I use both of them. The cutlery tray that you pull out is, is really good. Um, but yeah, that's just handy to have both options really. I um, can't think of any other things that, I mean, it's got loads of program cycles, which is really good. So lots of options. And I can't really say how it looks because it's an integrated dishwasher which means you actually put your cupboard front on so it looks sort of seamless in the kitchen um, so I can't comment on that but I'm really really impressed with Becco now there is one negative that I have discovered and it's a very small negative but um, when you put the tablet in and close the lid to that little compartment it's actually quite hard to close it properly it, it clicks and you can hear it click but I have to give it some force. I mean, for example, if I ask my 11-year-old son to go and close it, he'd probably struggle. Actually, no, he wouldn't. My nine-year-old would, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's you have to give it a really good, you know, sometimes I actually use the palm of my hand to push it down, then you hear it click. It might be that it's still brand new, and after a bit of wear and tear, it gets easier to close, but um, I mean, like I said, it's a small, small negative and for what we've got and the machine that it is, I think we've got a great deal. Hope you enjoyed the review.